Hey, we are live, and I am officially old because spreadsheets are genuinely exciting to me. Let's go there, and let's go here. Is this working? Are we here yet? Are we here yet? Yes, we are here. We are here, we are here. Time to share uh, this here and there. Okay, so stream announcements. Holy crap, I did a premiere and a live stream in the same day. I am a crazy person. Okay, so, just so people know, and hopefully this actually shows on the screen. So the plan is, with this custom campaign called Plutono, not Canoomageddon because frankly there's barely any canoes in it. Um, Henry Wong, absolute legend. Uh, first of his name, actually. First of his name, blessed be his house, blessed be his cow is handling the annoying uh, map editor side of things, and which frees me up to focus on craft designs and who gets in and who doesn't. So unfortunately, we're absolutely not accepting every single design that comes our way, because we can't. Um, if only because a, whole, a bunch of designs are too similar to each other. And for that purpose, we have a spreadsheet. We have a delightful spreadsheet here. So, we've already done this uh, last stream with the Hawa Confederation. There's a few, you'll notice that there's gaps in the spreadsheet a little bit. Uh, there's still room for a few craft uh, still, if you want to do that. And I will actually post a link uh, to this very thing uh, in Twitch chat right now. Hello, 3D Wrecker. Um, really should have waited. So anyway, we're doing the Amphitazwa Alliance today. We're just going to go through the vehicles we have and assign them a spot on this here spreadsheet. And it's all going to be really good. And I'm just going to share the spreadsheet in chat right now. Copy link. Oh, man. So exciting. The spreadsheet. Shut up. Thank you. Okay. Now let us get on with it. So we're just going to hang out in meter for now. Uh, because we don't actually need to hop over uh, to the canoe again. Yay! Hello, Master Reaper. All right. So we're going to go through uh, because we have sorted them, thankfully, previously. And we might actually get through more than one faction today. That'd be really, that would really be good. All right. So we're going to go here. Custom factions. Amphitazwa Alliance. And so we got a whole bunch of these things. We have shuffled them around a bit. And what have we got here? We got, whoops, we got an airship. We've got this fella. Let's see. What do we have here? This is... All right. What? Well, let's see here. Did I remember to? Yes. Whoops. All right. So this is the Setonia Orata. Right, I don't forget, like, uh, what's the naming convention for these guys again? Hold on a minute. Hold on. I need to go look at my own campaign notes. Right, let's go... Do, 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 do. It's in docs. It is in documentation. And let's see, the naming convention is Swamp and Coastline Creatures, so I'm guessing that... Hold on, let me just do this. I think this is a turtle. Oh, it's a beetle. Got it. Interesting. I'm learning things. I like scientifically minded things. But anyway, so this is definitely an airship. Let's see if it's got a spot on the spreadsheet. Thanks, 3D Wrecker. <laughs> okay. So, aircraft. Oh, there's no actual airships here. We could uh, rephrase this as a helicopter. That could work. Um... Let's see here. We've got an attack helicopter. How big is this thing? I'm going to chuck this in uh, the regular uh, section for now. Or rather, let's put that as an expert attack helicopter. And I'm just going to rename some folders. So, uh, if we go here. Yeah, I'm just going to shuffle this around. And put you... Wow, we don't have many helicopters here. So, Alright, so... 
Right, so we don't really have much in the way of airships for Amphitazwa, it's not their vibe. They're more C and C, I guess. So, da -da -da. hello, driver. It identifies as an Apache helicopter. Uh, not that joke. Not that joke. Alright, so, artillery. Do we have artillery? Yes, we do. Alright, so, let's see. We have the tadpole here. I believe. Yeah, this thing is nice and amphibious. It can be amphibious. That is, let's see. This is an artillery AFV. Is it a regular or is it an easy? I'm going to go with this being easy because it's like not very big. And we have the Iguana. Yes, there we go. Look at this full magnificent floaty thing. All right, so we got the tadpole. Tad, whoops. Tadpole. And the Iguana right here. Iguana, there we go. And do that. Artillery, easy peasy. Uh, fortresses. We have a resource gatherer. It's the Barnacle. Which is very nice. Very nice indeed. Let's see here. So, Barnacle goes down in the fortress section. Barnacle. Excellent. Excellent, excellent. Hello, ads are buffering. Why? Ah! In YouTube live streams. Um, this is on Twitch, though. So, yeah, YouTube live streams, I can imagine. Like, the way YouTube's going. I should, like, every so often, I should just hop into, open an incognito tab, just to see what regular YouTube is like. Because I'm on YouTube Premium, uh, because I just got sick of ads, and... I would be a damn hypocrite if I used an ad blocker to watch YouTube videos because YouTuber ad revenue is important to me, so yeah, maybe I should get an ad blocker. Am I beyond caring? Anyway, alright, so we've got our fortress there. Heavy tanks. How many heavy tanks do we have? We have five things for tanks. Whoop. Do -do -do. We've got lots of hover tanks. Why Why do I only have one? I'm going to add in a new row here for heavy tanks because um, there's a lot of tanks here and it would be a shame not to use them all. If I do this, have I messed up my whole spreadsheet? Heavy. Ah, that's not right. Hold on. Eh, uh, my spreadsheet. My spreadsheet. Oh, this is thrilling content to look at, isn't it? Heavy. Tank. Got it. Okay, cool. Alright. Let's see here. How goes the map? Henry Wong, hello! Everybody, <laughs> applaud Henry. Took the words out of my mouth. How goes the map editor? Like, the time limit... I don't know. There's not a huge time limit on that. Basically, just so everyone is aware who's watching, the goal is to get... Um this custom campaign to the point where it is a playable demo, so it doesn't need to have every single vehicle slot filled, it doesn't even need to have all factions done and dusted, it just needs enough, so basically, the where we at right now, what we really need is like faction HQs, so I've gotten something technically playable, added five vehicles to each faction, tested a bit with Hawa, excellent! Excellent, excellent. Right, um... Right, so definitely at the end of the stream, whatever I end up saying is absolutely in uh, the campaign. I will send that to you so we can do that. And once we've done that, um, we can focus on building, on filling any gaps that we have, because we do have a few gaps. For some reason, it insists only building the largest vehicle, don't know why. Hmm, interesting. I don't know why that is. You might have to talk to the, um... Or somebody needs to go and, um... Ask the Keepers of the Lore over in From the Depths official, like, why the AI likes doing that. Because it does that sometimes in Nitro as well. Okay, I uh, think, where are we at? We're in the heavy tank section. So we've got green anaconda, which is really, which is a big thing. We've got snapping turtle. What feet colors am I using? Um... Right, so, got the 
Swamp Dozer. Right. We're gonna need... We've got the Raucous. Okay, yeah, there's a lot of iconic vehicles here. Right, are things gonna just sink if I... Yep, yes they are. Could be worse, though. Alright, so all these are really good, is the thing. Uh, Raucous, Croc. Alligator. I believe we have an alligator somewhere else, though, is the thing. And we have the Caprosuchus over here. Whoa, okay. Alright, so the Caprosuchus is gonna be... I'm gonna put that in as our boss vehicle just for now. I don't think we have anything bigger than this. So, let's go here. Caprosuchus, that's our boss tank. Just for new... Whoops, wrong tab. So, there we go. And... So, yep. You are gone. And that leaves... One, two, three, four, five, six vehicles. So uh, let's see here, which is okay. So we have the croc and we have the alligator. I'm trying to remember which is the more upgraded version. I think the alligator is the more upgraded version of the croc. So the croc, we're not going to use that. So unfortunately, we are going to have to do this. So, and just to be clear, we're doing that too. And the alligator, and I'm just going to for now order these in terms of cost for their difficulty. So, which one of these things is the cheapest? The Swamp Dozer is the cheapest, but it needs a new name. So, I'm going to call this the Beaver. Um, so, we're in Heavy Tank. Beaver. Hold on, so let's go here, let's save this as... Or no, Muskrat. Let's do that. Wait, no, what's a... What's that thing that rodents... Like, this thing makes me think of a rodent simply because of, like, the cram barrels remind me of, like, those big buck teeth. Uh, okay. Do you know why lag is actually good? It makes your vehicles desync. <laughs> you are funny. Mole. Star nose mole. Uh, swamp creatures. Swamp creatures. I'm not sure moles are really swampy creatures. What is that thing? Uh, nu uh, nutria. That's it. Let's call this thing the nutria. Right. Let's. Wait. Hold on. Just double checking. Nutria. Whoops. Nutria. The Nutria is a... Yep! That's the one. Yep. I'm just gonna rename this. Nutria. Swamp Dozer's Nutria. And just to remove the confusion there. And... Nutria. So it's like a beaver, but not helpful. So there we go. So we got that. And let's see who's next. That is the snapping turtle. Green anaconda. Snapping turtle. Yep. So. Snapping turtle. You go there. Wow, that thing flipped over. Alright, so. Two four seven two nine seven. Nine, seven. Alright, so then it's gonna be the alligator. Alligator And you go away. And we got the green anaconda. Or maybe just the anaconda, we could call it. I don't know how many of these things we have. We could just shorten that to Anaconda. That's probably fine. Yes. And then we've got the Raucous. The Raucous isn't the name of anything, is it? Hold on. Let's just double check what Raucous means. Disturbingly harsh and loud noise. What's a big swamp thing that's loud? Because we, unfortunately, we do need to rename it to fit with the naming scheme. Hello. <laughs> Mole, yeah. 
Swamp creature. Florida resident. Hello, Lord Otron, and hello, Clint Iswood. First time chats. Welcome to the stream. Welcome, welcome. Yellow Anacondas. Shrek. We can't call this Shrek. We could call it the Ogre. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Wait, no, 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 no. Hold on. Swamp. Ogre. Do ogres live in swamps? We could just call it the ogre. Like, we could. Shall we call this thing the ogre? Because that'll be like... That'll be great. <laughs> ogre is mythical. Yeah, damn it. Okay. What's the closest real life thing to an ogre? What is a monkey? What's an ape that lives in a swamp? Hold on, I'm gonna look up swamp ape. That's not what I wanted. Okay. Ape that lives in swamp. What the hell is that? Okay, no, that's too small. Um Okay, so what I've got here is Alan's swamp monkey, which is um doesn't quite fit the vibe. Because let me let me just show you this little guy. This little guy. This little guy looks like this. Uh, might be a little bit too cute for this thing, so... Uh, yeah, no, uh, not this guy. <laughs> Stink Ape, the Dutch, that or uh, Florida man, yeah. Big Donk, Swamp Hazy, Ogre, why an ape specifically? I don't know, like, what's a big, th loud thing that lives up? You know what? Loud Swamp Animal. Don't let me down, Google, we're all counting on you. Why does it show a bloody possum? Deacon's Christmas, okay. Um. Hold on. Big thing has friends. Uh. Swamp and. Tilope. <gasps> yes! That's the. This is the one. This is what we want. The Sitatunga. Yes, this is a big this is a big boy who lives in a swamp. He looks like this. Sititunga. Also I like the name of it. Look at this friend. Also I need to copy that because it is hard to spell. So what is that? That is Spadefoot. Actually we could call this Nah no, I really like the name Sititunga though. Yeah. Alright, so let us rename our friend here the Sita Tunga. Antelope are awesome, actually. If you ever have a spare moment, um, be sure to look up like just the various kinds of African antelope, because there's lots of them and they're weird. Okay, so Sita Tunga. And just delete that. So there we go. We can always rename that later, Sita Tonga. There we go. Me likey. Excellent. 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 And we do that. Sita Tonga and friends. And that's the heavy tanks. Excellent. We're making real progress here. Our spreadsheet, it's filling out. It's filling out lovely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is there a stand <laughs> Tonga? I don't know. <laughs> okay, so that's heavy tanks, helicopters. We've got two of them. Well, technically we have. Um, all right, no, we have we have two already. So where the helicopter? Where the helicopter? Uh, so the dragonfly is what? Did I accidentally save over this thing? No, I didn't. Oh, look at you, little float. Game. Okay, what the hell am I looking at? This thing. What am I looking at here? Oh, it's a point at and maintain distance. Does this thing this thing can turn, right? Okay, so this is definitely an easy thing. Yep. Need some deco work. But you know, it'll do. Okay, I just wanna hold on, let's see how this flies. I might need to fix it a little bit. 
Oh, it launches torpedoes backwards. That's hilarious. No, it launches missiles backwards. Oh, this thing is fun, actually. Never mind. Yay! Alright, well, there you go. Um, maybe this is a regular thing. It's uh, dishing out a fair amount. Alright, so... Helicopter, helicopter... Dragon... Fly! Whoops. Dragon... Fly... There we go. Just check, did I spell that right? Yes, I did! Excellent. Excellent, excellent. So there's a uh, there's some gaps for helicopters for Amphitaza. Yeah. <laughs> yep, Clint. Uh, yeah, fire spreads. Funny about that. All right, so helicopters, hovercraft. So this is gonna be in the hover tank section. Yeah. Why is okay? Hold on a minute. I have accidentally got two. APS hover tank section. So this is the HT1, and it's got a little drone. And this is the Walrus, which is this is huge actually. Hold on, maybe this should be our boss tank. It is a little bit big though. Hmm. Hold on. Hmm, this one's got problems. This one's got problems. Okay, let's see here. HT1. Right, so this can be our easy one. Also, this thing needs a new name. Um, because, uh, yeah, HT1, let's see that drone. That radar drone can just be called what it is. Um, please don't crash. Okay, so HT1, what does this thing look like? This thing definitely looks like some kind of frog or toad. What is a frog or toad? We can't have spade foot, we've already got that. I'm going to Google pointy frog. Pointy frog. Actually, quite a lot. One of the first thing that uh, I think this fella actually might be like, it's just called a day frog. Uh, Capro is the perfect boss tank. Got it. Boss should be more visual. Yeah, the Capro. Uh, dart frog. Hey, this could be a dart frog. Let's call it that. So let's just go here. Save this as. Dart frog. And delete that. And that's the Gemberol 249. So thank you there. So Dart Frog is easy hover tank. Dart frog. This thing's got problems. We need to fix this fella. Right, let's have a look in here. What's your deal? Let's have a look here. What is your problem? Firstly, well... Alright, well, there's your issue. So, also, are these blocked? No, they are not. I just need to put some ACBs, shield control ACBs, somewhere over the rainbow. Why is there a hole? Huh. Huh, that looks like an oversight. Alright, I'm just going to smuggle in here. Uh, countermeasures, let's see. Where did I put my shield control? And we're going to drop this down. Uh, drop the shields down to about, yeah, five. Let's see how that works. So now that's all fine and dandy. And if I spawn in, whoops, if I spawn, what is, this thing's over a million materials, Deacon's Christmas. Uh, oh, I don't know, let's spawn in a crossbones, this thing's probably, this thing doesn't feel godly. What?
And that's a lot of firepower, though. Deacon's, Deacon's hell. Okay. Yeah, we could probably make the, um... Oh, I get it. The steam engine's probably... Hold on. The steam engines probably aren't at full power out of combat. Hold on, let's see here. If I crank this up to 10... Yeah, no, it can manage. Alright, my bad. This thing has a monster lamb. Steak, it's Christmas. Okay. Right, so let's see which wins uh, this or the Caprosuchus. I have a sneaky feeling this is going to win. So... So there... The walrus can be saved like that. If I destroy everything... Because this might have to be the boss craft if it's just outright more formidable. Sorry to say. Uh, flicker because the engines... Yeah, true, true, true. True, true, true. Got any gators yet? Yes! Uh, we do have the alligator. The alligator is one of our heavy tanks, yes. Dot... <laughs> Fart frog, yeah. Go, Capra. What is happening here? Okay, um... So, uh, we need decision time. We need to decide what is gonna be our... Uh, boss tank for the Amphitazwa Alliance out of the options we have. So we have the Walrus versus the Kafrosuchus. The Walrus is actually a lot bigger. It is a monster of a hover thing. And, uh... I don't know. The Kafrosuchus does look better, but you don't become a boss craft based on looks. You need to be kind of a boss as well. So, there we go. Somewhat cheaper. Let's see who wins. Oh dear. Looks like... The Caprosuchus also has a crap ton of small interceptors, which is not good. Wait, is that even firing? Yeah, I think the Caprosuchus is not winning. Nope, it's not. Yeah, nope, it looks like, uh... Interesting. These guns are not firing at all. And it's just been blinded by the looks of it. That's unfortunate. Broken gun needs to be fixed, okay. Yeah, AI dead, oh dear. Alright, let's have a look at the Capro and fix her, because it would be a shame not to use her since we have her. Broken gun, yeah. Alright. Oh, you know what it might be? Uh, the turret. Yeah, no. Literally nothing. Hold on a minute. Where the hell am I? Oh, this thing uses ring shields. You Okay, then. Pretty neat that there's a chair in the turret, but, um... Hold on a minute, let's just... Right, where... I'm just going to... Go back here... And I'm going to have a temporary chair back here, just for testing purposes. So, there, into chair. Just need to go outside of... Default chair... And, oh, nope. Right, fix, fix, fix. I think I know. No, the, oh, no, 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 no. It does get stuck on something. What does it get stuck? Oh, no. We can't use the Caprosuchus if it's stuck. We just can't. Yeah, the main gun doesn't rotate fully. It also, hold on. Let's just do, I'm just going to spawn in an invincible marauder. Okay, there those crams fired. There's a whole bunch of these shells, though, that are not firing. Are these... 
Are these diff guns? Hold on. Come on. No, they're not diff guns. Alright. Let's see here. Yeah, so we've got a problem with this detection mast here. I think the crams are not going to want to fire, really. Also, the re whoa, the reload time on these is awful. Deacon's Christmas. Okay, no, this is this simply will not do. Right. No wonder the cram wasn't firing. All right, let us just. We're going to have to give this front turret a bit of a haircut. Whoops. Get rid of that. And that should be better. There's still the problem that this is stuck, so... If I do... This now, damage the bugging. So if we do that, what does that look like? Hold on a minute. I think I see what's going on in there. Is there room to fix, is the question. Also, it is kind of annoying how this doesn't always... Uh, yeah, I see it. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. We need to... Hold on, let's see here. If we... Excuse you, okay. If we replace these with slopes, will it work better, do you think? It might not work better. Hold on. Let's really try and be smart. Okay, C come on. Come on now. Come on now. Ugh, this is awkward. Right, that should fix it, hopefully. Alright, I also need to go do the same thing. Up there. My goodness, two layers of armor on the turret. Okay. If we do that, maybe it'll work because slopes are somewhat clever these days. We should do the same over here. Get rid of you, get rid of you, get rid of you. I hope people don't interpret this as favoritism, me taking the time to fix some craft but not others. The Caprosuchus is a big gorgeous thing, it'd be a shame not to use it. That's my excuse. Let's see now. If that does it, that do nope. Oh, there we go. That's what's doing- what's this? It's a sideways coincidence rangefinder. What the hell? Get out of here. Get the hell out of here. We don't we don't want you like that. No, we don't. I don't know what's in here. I'm just going to Just going to remove this. Oh, this feels like heresy what I'm doing right now. Heresy. Heresy, heresy. Vogan Voganator. Hey. Are you going to start doing a borderized berate sections of your streams? Um probably not. But I could do, like, specific streams uh, for that. That could be fun. But the turret... Yep, I've got the turret rotation bug on. You now have an air gap in a part you would prefer stacking. Eh, not really. It's like the Onyx watch, yeah. Something like Henry or Greg, that would be... That would be fun. Okay. Most of them aren't even the most powerful vehicle in the factions. Bosses aren't a thing. Oh, they're mass... What? That? Then explain the frickin' tarpon! <laughs> explain the tarpon, please! Alright. So now... Can you spin all the way around? Can you spin all the way around? Hey, We have fixed the gun! We have not fixed the gun. What?! I thought I had mirror mode on! How dare you! How... 
dare you? How dare you? Shame on your house. Shame on your cow. Shame on your family. Shame on your bananas. Shame on your entire banana plantation. Shocking. Okay, so now... 360 degrees. Come on now. We Yep. Okay. So she's a bit of a flo she's a bit of a sinky girl, if you're not careful. Alright, that's looking much better. Save that for new and let's turn Let's turn that off, clear all. Okay, now what we need to do is fix the reload time on these crams, because I have a sneaking suspicion Tetris is not optimal. Okay, yeah, there you go. Oh, lordy. What has happened here? That is a problem. That is a problem. That is too many compactors. Way too many. Right, I'm just going to replace all the compactors I see. Interesting what the rotation done here. Alright, so I'm just gonna go place every one of these with more hardener pellets. I'm guessing, let's see, how many hardener pellets do you have? Oh, it's pure HE! That, that, that's not gonna do the trick! It's not gonna do the trick at all! Alright, let's go here. Uh, yeah, I think I am going to do that. Alright, so any one which is three, or oh, let's see, how does that done? That's already done better. My goodness, okay. Place that. That's two, that's three. This is weird, Tetris. Probably could, probably should. That's still not good enough. Deacon's Christmas. Why is there just a whole bunch of this is a this is weird. This is weird. This is weird. This is rather weird. Alright, so that's better, I guess. Let's check the fuses. Why is there AI components in here? This is weird. This is strange and unusual. Don't much care for it. Okay, but uh Let's see here, just replace everything, just to get, make the friggin... Yeah, four-way connectors on compactors, jeez. The split down the middle, yeah. Who made the capro again? Good question, I think this was... This is a Drolloric. Drolloric makes very nice uh, craft, but yeah, Cram Tetris... Probably not their specialty. Alright, so let's just keep going... Here... We're fixing the Caprosuchus... Oh, they have different packing rates, too. Interesting. Interesting, interesting. Alright, that's a little bit better. It is... I mean, I could just... I know, I could shortcut this, but I don't want to. Damn, how did I miss that? I really need to be more systematic with what I'm doing here. Alright, so let's do the bottom. This is weird Tetris, man. It's weird. It is weird. It is very strange to me. Fitting music, though. So it is 3D Tetris in here. You can tell by the six-way connector. This is the bit where the pace of the stream slows way down. Five, lovely. Do 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 do. Three, yep. And over here, three, yep. That'll do. That'll do. Pig. Okay. This is what I get for not being more thorough checking these things before. Just replace it with diamond treasures, probably. Drillorks doing okay. Okay, 
shoot it like that, that's like that, that's like that. I wish there was a faster way to do this, but there isn't. Not with this, uh... This is an intriguing design. Intriguing, I say. Okay, so now we've done that, and that is now 18... Uh, 18 second reload, which is much better than it was. Alright, so now we're gonna do the same over here. Let's go find our friends. Let's go and find our friends. Do, do, do. Okay, there we go. Do, 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 do. Looking at cram guts. Looking at cram guts. This is my looking at cram guts song. And replacing each one of the freaking compactors one at a time. Goodness. I am not sitting correctly for this. I just knew it. I'm going to hurt myself. Okay, two, two, three! Okay, good. Ah! Longer reload means bigger boom must be better. Up to a point. In this particular case, uh, none of these individual crams are big enough to really, I don't know, really have much of an impact that way. Let's just remove... Where the hell are you? Okay, there you go. We're just going to remove that. So now we're going to go over here. I'm going to feel very stupid if this whole thing was mirrored the whole time. I don't think it is, is the problem. Okay, let's just go across here, top layer. Da 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 da. Nope. Da 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 da. Yep. Da da da. Da 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 da. Let's turn the light on so I can see. There we go. We have vision. All right. Da 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 Yep. Da 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 And da 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 Good. Left those alone, yep, so whoop. This is absolutely some of the funkiest Tetris I've ever seen. Okay. We're almost there. Almost fixing the cap roll. Got to fix, 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 Yay. <sighs> okay, yeah, starting the game now. Whew. If you don't have an understanding of, like, the update history of From the Depths, like, it's gonna be a real nightmare to learn it from scratch these days. 
if nothing else, because the tooltips aren't uh, always helpful. I'm genuinely unhappy at the tooltips for like flamethrowers and just how unhelpful they are. Because they don't describe what the things actually do. Like, they talk about, like, intensity and oxidizer and stuff like that, but they don't say what that means. It says elsewhere in the game, but, um, like with missiles and APS and stuff, but it doesn't say it with the freaking flamethrowers, which is, like, the first place people would look. Rant over. Let's rant about something else. I had mid-Italian food a night or two ago. Via DoorDash, because my sister was getting it and said, do you want some? And I said, sure. And it was overpriced and very mid, and they didn't even deliver her bloody dessert. So, <laughs> bit of a first world problem, but yeah. Who here uses DoorDash? And have you had better experiences with it than I have so far? <laughs> okay, da 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 da, that is... Okay, cool. Right, let's go check the firing pieces. Barely even make APS, all APS, yeah. Not even thinking of doing cram. And do it. Yeah, from the depths of Oh. Oh no. Oh dear. Oh dear. Cram mix up. Okay, you get over there. So 16.63, 16.63. Huh, okay. You two are... Why is there a metal beam in here? It makes no sense. Okay, so you are a bit too small, gauge-wise. And you are a bit too big. So where's the problem happening? It's probably happening over here, right? No, you're completely separate. What the hell? I guess Droloric had a bit of an oversight. Alright, so I'm going to remove... These are 1600 meters, so I need to remove four things from over there. What is this? Time from launch and inertial. Probably should have time from first impact as well. That is not good enough. Deacon's Christmas. Okay. So we're just going to do that. We're going to have nice, easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Ah! Okay. Fix, 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 fix. So we got nice 1600 in there. And you need a little bit more. So we got a 3 meter metal beam in here. It's not the best turret in the world. Let's be real, not the best turret I've ever seen. Okay, I'm just gonna stick this in here. Okay, we have... What the? 16.63, Alright, they all have identical firing speeds. I am gonna actually add some stagger on here. Because stagger is cool. Alright, so here... Oh! It already has stagger. Whoops! Alright, so we've fixed that. Lovely, lovely. Okay, good, 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 good. Ordered groceries, yeah. Orders everything, even groceries. That sounds expensive. Alright. Do, do, do. True, 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 true. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> oh, moon park. That, that's just mean. You make your friend learn it so you can focus on something else. Oh, boy. Yeah. Yeah, it is fun. Like, I still... I have saved the the first screenshot of the first um, craft I ever made in From the Depths, and it was just a hilariously bad little uh, catamaran uh, laser-guided missile thing. Let's go look for the AI around here. I'm pretty sure this thing got AI deaded, and um, the AI might not be... Oh, that might be it. Okay. No, the the AI is I don't know pretty decently defended actually. Okay, what do we got here? I think that's the the most immediate things have been fixed. Let's test this thing against something. Um, 
Let's test this thing against something roughly its own cost. So let's just save it. Alright, so if we go here, 600. What's roughly 600 in meter? Da, 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 da. That's a little bit too cheap. The Eerie would annihilate this thing, I think. So let's try. Let's see. Can't be friggin'. Let's try it against the Judgment and see how it does against that. What the hell exploded? Oh. The Judgment has railguns, we have just learned. What is the distance on here? Yeah, uh, this is way more of an aesthetic build than a practical one. Way more of an aesthetic build than a practical one. Uh oh. Yeah. Ooh. Those timed fuses are doing no one interview and all those missile things like okay. Right. We might need to bench this thing. As gorgeous as it is, it's not really pulling its weight. Although, you know. Yeah, those time fuses are doing no one any favors whatsoever. Oh boy. The scrap, they're doing something. What's the theme for today? We're going through the Amphitazwa Alliance and just um, sorting out which uh, craft are going to make the cut and which aren't. The Caprosuchus is actually... Oh dear. It has way too many little missile interceptors. This is laggy as hell. And those crams are just not ideal. Yeah, this is not our boss craft. Unfortunately, it is not our boss craft. It just isn't. Yeah, the judgment is just... Mm, the judgment is making a fool of it. Right, I'm going to remove entirely. Just... We're gonna keep it for now, but... Um, yeah, this thing needs uh, significant upgrades. Hold on, let's just go here. We're going to... I'm going to literally replace these laser targeters. Where is that laser targeter? Get the hell out of here. Right, so get rid of the time from launch. It's useless. And angle to explode is that. Because that's probably got a lot to do with why this is not doing well. And what else is a problem? This thing... Hold on a minute. Let's have a look here. So this thing is a railgun with exposed magnets and this is it is an HE shell with gunpowder it has no ejectors by the looks of it okay uh not ideal like mm, I'm conflicted right we're gonna save it like that but um well let's go back to our spreadsheet shouldn't be that strong yeah hello question master doesn't need to be powerful, it needs to be fun to fight. That's true, this is true. Like, but it's definitely not our boss craft. So I'm just gonna put this on screen. Right here. Oh. So, Alright, so Caprosuchus is where was it? It was Boss Craft was there. Uh so we need to go put that somewhere else. The Nutria could probably just go there. We'll consider it a tank for now. And the Caprosuchus can be... Uh, it can be a godly. It's big enough to be a godly, at least. And then... I need to go back here and look at my stuff. And so we're gonna do that. And our hover tank... That's the marsh worker. No. Uh, hovercraft. 
the walrus is going to be our godly tank for now because it's over a million materials for crying out loud and it's just loaded with stuff and has a monster lamb so that's nice all right so that's the hover craft wait so no hang on hover Wait a minute, don't I have a separate hover tank folder? I do. The dart frog should be in the hover tank section. We have a, okay, we have a shocking absence of hover tanks for the Amphitazwa, and that simply will not do. Uh, Marsh worker, what's this? Oh, this is a cargo thing. Okay, so this has, this has a whole bunch of firepower, I guess. Okay. Right, so this can be our cargo hogger hovercraft, so it's the marsh worker. We can call this the beaver. So I'm just gonna resave this as the beaver. Hold on, do I hold on, let's see here. We have a whole bunch we have these as well, so we have the mud skipper. We have the HTV. Oh dear, we have a bunch of these, don't we? Yes, we do. All right, let's let's have a drag race. Which one of these things moves the best? No collisions, please. Oh, rubber. Right, so this thing is having trouble even steering. Mud skipper. I think the mud skipper might take it actually. Yep. Yep. Mud skipper. <laughs> uh. Right. So this is going to be our cargo. I'm just going to call it cargo vehicle. I left caps lock on, that was silly. Cargo vehicle. Okay. Everybody's up. And can you do you have passive float? You do have passive float. At the very least you have hydrofoil, so that's nice. Okay, so mud skipper. Here we go. Mud skipper. And sorry, these guys don't really cut it. Why did I even bother saving the beaver? So, hover tank. So, marsh worker. No beaver, unfortunately. So, resource cargo, mud. And the HTV is this thing, which does not move very quickly, unfortunately. So out of here we don't have a cargo plane so da -da, done light tanks this is where we're gonna have to uh, cut out a lot of vehicles unfortunately seems to be going faster yep losing to pilfer to beat the stars and yay what was it couldn't move because it was in the water that is unacceptable because the whole point of this faction is that everything is either amphibious or can fly so that's not an excuse in fact that is one thing that just immediately at this point it gets thrown in the bin uh so we'll probably sort the varanus okay okay that's okay question master take your time we're gonna have a playable demo of this thing and we don't need to have every single craft in it by the time that happens mainly i want to get people playing it and i want uh um, feedback um, from people who are not involved in this project, which will, because it's going to be harsh criticism, <laughs> and we and we need that. All right, all right. So we have a shocking lack of things right now. All right, so light tanks. Let's do three at a time. Okay, so this thing uses turning thrusters. To, oh dear. This thing. Uh, Oh dear, oh dear, okay, let's do... Okay, there's the Gek, I do like that. Does this thing... 
Okay, this thing looks jolly good. We do want one of those. Got the polywog. Draloric was very busy here. Alright. Right, this is actually a tank destroyer, which is lovely. Alright, we got one. So, we got the Newt. Unfortunately, this thing... Ugh, jeez. It looks cool, but... No ramming, please. Alright, so... Newt. Get out of here. Polywog and the Gek. Alright. So, what do we have here? The Polywog... Uh, what is it? Was it tank destroyer, tank hunter? Let's go here. Just put poly walk over there. Good keep. And this is the geck. We're just gonna put that here for now. There we go. Thank you. Very please. What is this fella? That's even spelled wrong. So. Yeah, no, this, the, the, nah, aesthetics, not good. So the, f whoa, and it explodes. All right, so, uh, frog, the newt is that thing we've just had. I feel bad doing this, but like, you know, we, we can't accept everything. Apologies, Ep Epic Omega, but yeah. Right, so now we got... Right, so Polywog, we got this fella, this thing... Ah, okay, the... oh dear. What is with this? Why are there wooden blocks here? Are they using mods? What is the deal with this? The AT24. Let's do this as well. Oh, this thing is adorable, but. Mm, wait, no, this thing is really adorable. We should call this the Kermit. <laughs> okay, it's really gonna take me for. Not all of them. Mate, the first demo is gonna have 12 vehicles total. And as, and that is it. Got it! <laughs> Don't ask chat GBT forever. Alright, got it, Henry Wong. See, that's part of the reason I'm being, like, I'm trying to be very picky about the vehicles we have now, is that, um, when I first started this campaign, I had no idea how much of a pain of the ar pain of the ass it is to, uh, put vehicles actually into the map editor because the way you look you have to load them one at a time and you have to constantly like input the same stuff over and over again and it's just a pain in the ass so for the sake of my sanity and Henry's sanity we can't have too many so no one seems to actually have a problem with um uh all right I really do want to we need to rename the model Right, I don't like this thing. I don't know what those wooden blocks mean, so... AT24. I really hope that thing wasn't, uh... Hold on. AT24. Get out of here. And we're gonna rename this the Kermit, simply because I look at this and I think Kermit. Actually, hold on. Can this thing even fight, though, is the question. If I spawn in a... Sea Viper. This thing does not appear. What the hell am I looking at? Okay, this thing doesn't have sufficient detection, so... We're just going to do this. Oh, this thing has a range limit. Which is not good. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's see if we can't do that. Where is the local weapon controller? Does it even have one? Yeah, no. I mean, this thing is hilarious and I do like it. Also, it is landing shots. 
There we go. Beautiful. It is very slow, though. That's a problem. It's also very underpowered. Hold on. What the hell? Why have you stopped moving entirely? Is it because you have no power? What? This is a problem. Uh, hold on. I can very quickly fix this because I have superpowers. Some smaller crop is born in the fleet. I mean, maybe she's a little bit unstable. I to commit some crimes. Oh boy. <laughs> uh, where the hell are injectors again? Okay, here we go. So, this should give it sufficient power. Right, this has more power than it. There we go! Look at you! Look at you! Motoring along. Lovely. I am going to put some roll control on it, though. So, let's just go here. It's going to be air. Pivot. Right, the center of mass is here. I like this thing. This is very Amphitazwa, actually. Me likey. So, roll. And roll. Whoa! This might be a bit much. Okay. Rolled right the hell over. That's not good. There we go. Do we have pitch control in this thing? Because we... Whoa! Okay, then. Whoa, what is happening? Alright, okay. I know what is happening. Alright, do we have room for bread in here, is the question. We probably don't. Okay, aim point selection card. No target prioritization, by the looks of it. This thing isn't doing anything particularly useful. Wait, can I... Hold on. Can I stick breadboard in here? Also, we're actually past the point where... Yes, I can! <laughs> uh, I shouldn't have done that. Oh, God. Right, let's do this. I'm going to stick in my basic as bread quickly. Thrust vector bread. Okay, it is, what we want here is boat propeller. Do, 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 do. Where's it, where's it, where's it, where's it, where's it? Your, and we want pitch. Prop, left prop, boat propeller, and boat propeller, so. This should work. Hold on, so this thing is... Left prop, left, whoops. Left prop. And right prop. And this is just... Oh dear, yeah, no. Uh, that's just a pusher preset. Why did I do that? Okay, so this is just prop done. And we're just going to do push your preset there, push your preset there. So now, let's see. That does not appear to be doing the trick. At all. Hold on a minute. Hold on, hold on, hold on. So that's prop. Yeah, okay. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I can fix this. Oh, that's why. Okay, so we want pitch. Control here. Pitch angle. 
and also pitch angle. Where is it? 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 Pitch angle there. What do you think you're sticking that baguette? <laughs> Whoa! Roll props on the belly, okay. Huh, interesting. Right, what do I- it is ads time, yes! Right, let's just see here, just want to make sure this roll prop- There we go, look at that! Look at her wobbling along. Wee! Whoa, okay then. Yeah, we need yeah, we definitely need some extra need some extra pitch control here. Thankfully, we have room for pitch control. Hold on. That is pitch control. That is pitch control. Hell yeah, look at this. We've done it. Save it. Kermit! Okay. Whoops. Yeah, so the model... That's... Yeah. Model 1970... Oh god. Oh no. Oh no. Okay, so... Kermit! Ah, okay. I'm gonna let Kermit flop around a little bit. It does have roll props. Huh. Right, so I am going to let Kermit flop around a little bit. Okay, the problem is when the props come out of the water, they can't really do anything. So that is an issue. But yeah, gonna let Kermit flop around. Enjoy the dancing, Kermit. I'm gonna run some ads and get an unsponsored soft drink. And yeah, that's that. Enjoy floppy Kermit. Here we go. It's hot in here. Also, we're gonna make ourselves sick. Uh, whoop. There we go. Two minute ad, yay! Okay. Look at Kermit being all floppy. Ah, delicious. Delicious. Oh boy, this is actually taking longer than I thought. Think, think, think. How can we make Kermit better? How can we improve Kermit? Ion engines? Good idea. Me? Okay. Right. Welcome back. Uh, I have uh, got an idea for how to make Kermit better. It involves ion engines. Lots of them. So let's just do this. Oh dear. Oh dear. Uh, firstly, Let's rename the bread a little bit, just to make things easier. Ion, whoops. Ion. Left, ion. Right, ion. Doo -doo -doo. Because I think ion engines might work better with this thing. Alright, so... Ion. Ion. 
is the left ion. And this is the right ion. And these are going to be roll ions here. Rolly, rolling, rolling. Rolling, rolling, rolling. Wow, okay. We got issues. Um, hmm. Why is this happening? Oh, that's why. All right. No worries. And here I was thinking, don't forget to do things. All right, so that's your... We need to control that. Your angle, and this is going to be pitch and pitch. Why is my bread not working? Because you did it wrong. Nope, that's your... Nope, 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 not your... It's kind of annoying that the things I always use are down here on the bottom of the bloody menu. Uh, nope, wrong. There we go, and... Pitch. Uh, might need to put some lead in the front. Hold on. Hang on a minute. Oh, that certainly doesn't help. Let's see. She flies! <laughs> uh, she flies! Okay, let's try this. Come on. You know you want to. You know you want to. <laughs> this is why small craft is so hard. Hey, we did it. Okay, so if you turn off now, are you going to pitch underwater? Yes. Yes, you are. So if I do that... And then if you start driving around... Are you going to... Yes! <laughs> Does the air use pitch? Hold on. Aha! Thank you, driver! Oh lordy! Okay, let's do that. And we do need, let's go here. Minimum altitude above the land, one, one, two. Allow reverse. Nope, we still have a flying tank. You know what this means. Hold on, you know what could really help with this? Just dial it down a smidge. Hold on, so target. Uh, where, I never remember where it is. Controls, propulsion components. Set propulsion, let's set it to that. Should dial that down a little bit. Okay, you know what? Hold on, let's see here. Part of the problem is, is that the ion thrusters are set down below the center of drag, which is why this thing pitches up all the time. Although we are, we just have landed back in the water, and that is nice. Okay, that's acceptable. So if I am cheeky, if I do this, can we go up to three is the question. Are we going to pitch up? No, we are not. Look at that! Yay! Look at her tap dance! Kermit! Look at you. Alright, so now let us... I don't know. Let's spawn an atlas just to see what happens. Oh boy. Oh boy. Right, uh, we have issues. We have severe issues. Also, the gun's not aiming. That's also a severe issue. I'm spending way too much time trying to fix this bloody thing, but I like it. It's fun. Altitude back. Deacon's Christmas, guys. Right. 
Uh, why is there a glass in here? There's a light block in here, actually. Alright. Right. I'm going to have to move these up slightly. <sighs> okay. Center of drag is over there, so I'm going to do this. Apologies, but and now we are still flying. Well, we've made a hover tank successfully. Hello, Pete. P moved you. Can't you just move the thrusters up? Okay, yeah, you preempted me. Yeah, forgot to paste. What did I? Hold on a minute. There we go. Left ion. Right ion. 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 Okay, so. Let's do this now. What we're actually going to need to do is have something to push this down. <laughs> oh dear. Alright, so... Let's just do that. And that is pitch. And here we're going to have... Ooh, don't care for that one bit, but... We're going to have a pusher preset. Roll right the hell over, and I'm going to set this to hover. Right. When in doubt, make the thing as idiot-proof as possible. And no, we cannot reverse. It is hilarious that in order to make, like, this old-timey-looking tank, you have to use, like, literal space-age technology. Wow, you missed by an absolute country mile, didn't you? Good news, this thing is really stealthy. <laughs> okay, I like this tank. It's tiny and adorable. It's also missing a lot. Oh, holy crap. But it packs a punch, though. I think it lobs has shells. Yep, it does. Okay, Kermit! Well done, Kermit. You're functional. That took a lot of work. <laughs> okay. Yeah, most realistic Chinese action would be what? Uh, the center ions could respond to pitch. Uh, they do respond to pitch. Actually, I think they do. Re yeah, they do. It's just that these respond to roll. So, yeah. Uh, how have you not used it on land yet? Oh, this thing should work just fine on land. It has tracks. Oh, boy. <laughs> what Chinese animations? What are you talking about? Okay, so let's just do this. And, um... Right, so Kermit... Kermit is in... Uh... So the Gek, Nutria, move on. Kermit, there we go. So there, save for Kermit. Oh my goodness, okay. Uh, the stream, we have 40 minutes, jeez. Chinese action moves are quite the experience. Yeah, from what I understand. All right, so Gek, Polywood, the Mr. A1. Oh yeah, so another Soviet type thing here. This is quite unstable. I think I might need to add a second layer to these because, like, we do have a lot of tanks, and it would be nice to have all of them. So, tank. So, hold on. Can I merge? No, I can't. Okay. Right, so this thing, I'm just going to, hold on, what color is this? This isn't fleet colors, is it? No. Right, I'm just going to refit 
the alloy with alloy and set that to paint secondary and refit the metal with metal and refit that with paint main. There we go. So that's not ideal. Right. Bearing in mind this is not what the Amphitas was um uh, I think I think I did work on this actually, jeez. Righty ho then. Right, enable okay there and there and there and so there, add some forest camo. Camo Forest one. There we go. Look at you. Also, I'm just gonna do this. And we're gonna save that as, well, the Mr. A1, but then, let's see here. This is also a very easy tank. This can go alongside Kermit. Uh, what is this? This looks like a, what's a swamp spider? These things look like eyes. Funny Chinese memes, yeah. <laughs> Go kill someone. Oh, right, got it. <laughs> okay, so... Swamp spider. What is a swamp spider? Oh, wow, this thing's actually kind of fast. Jeez. Bob's up and down. This thing is going to be a pain in the ass to hit. Let's see how it does against the Atlas. Oh, boy. I think I know what's wrong here. Uh oh. There we go. Mr. A1. Alright. Name suggestions. Name suggestions. <laughs> Stop all type 59. Yeah. Oh, wow. Ouch. Alright. I like this thing. Okay. Let's go here. Right. Think. Spider. 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 Some kind of spider. This thing reminds me of a spider. Don't ask me why. Uh. Hold on a minute, let's go here... Swamp... My Google search history is weird. Swamp... Spider. We could call this the wolf spider, actually, because, like, you know, eyeballs. Hold on, let's have a look. Oh, there is a- oh, the Dolomede. The Dolomedes. Yeah, that's not- that's a good name. I like that name. We're gonna use that name. And I'm so glad I remembered to do that. Alright, so save. Mr. A1. Why did I bother doing that? It's the Dolomedes. Mr. A1. Da 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 da. You have been saved, you have been saved, you have been saved, you have been... There's also the Link Spiders, true. Uh, she does need some... I think she has pitch control? Yeah, she does. She does have pitch control. I kind of like how she rocks around like this. Looks cool. Uh, yeah, alright, so we're going to put that as a... What the hell? Like... Okay. Right, the Dolomedes... I guarantee you I'm going to forget why I called it that. Scientific name of the Swamp Spider. Okay then, so... So, da, 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 da. so the Otter. What is the Otter? The Otter... Is this... Oh, this is an AA vehicle. Or at least it, it vibes like one. 
Whoops. Okay. Hold on. Let's just see here. Yes. Also, what the hell? What the? What is back here? All right. Yes. 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 Yep. That's our AA vehicle. So, AFV, the Otter. There we go. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Why did I bother saving over there? Make no sense to do. Otter, Sea Wolf. Okay, so this is basically the same thing, but with a bigger gun. Um, by the looks of it, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's compare the two. Yeah, these are quite similar by the looks of it. What is this gun? Okay, the Sea Wolf is like, I don't know. How many tanks do we have in here? Okay. Yeah, yeah. These things kind of are a little bit too similar. I would like vehicles to stand out a little bit more. So let's have a look inside here. Is this interesting? It is interesting, actually, how there's like a lot of just trust blocks in here, because I, I think these things are, yes, they're buoyant, relatively speaking. They're actually less buoyant than other things. Hmm. Okay, yeah, nah, we're not gonna go with the sea wolf. What is the toad? What the hell is this? Yeah, no, this is, I don't know what this thing is, uh, I mean, it's ugly like a toad, that's for sure. Hold on. Uh, yeah, no, this this looks weird. Very weird. What would this even be? What is the rate of fire on this? Hold on. Let's chuck in an atlas. That turret just looks too big for this thing. Hmm. That gun, call that the ogre. Yeah, an AT truck, I guess? Maybe? This thing does look quite retro. Actually, I'm warming... I'm warming up to this thing. I like that. This is certainly memorable. You'd never forget running into this. <laughs> This is literally just a gun truck. I'm gonna classify this as a, like, a more advanced, like, advanced. What is the armor on this turret? The armor on this turret is non-existent. Oh, this thing will be fun to run into. Oh, boy. I can imagine the big salty tears that people would have about this thing. Alright, yeah, you know what? I'm sold on this. I'm sold on it, yeah. Just don't make any sharp turns on that truck. Yeah, you will fall over. Yeah. Needs more wheels for those tracks. That's true, it does. Um, so let's add some. Hold on, let's go here. To neighbors, wait a minute, where's this? Hold on, hold on, hold on. I know what to do here. There we go. Okay, so I'm just going to add and remove all tracks. Okay, uh, what the hell do I? Remove all tracks, add all tracks. And I'm just gonna do my little ACB trick just to preemptively make sure these things don't use too much power. Propulsion, components, set propulsion to 300%. 
Okay, never mind. Set that to 100%. Set that to 100%. Okay, let's set it to 150. That do. That'll do nicely. Okay, cool. The toad. The toad is in. So let's save it over like that, and we're gonna put the toad. Yeah, cause like honestly, this thing, this turret, kind of vibes like a toad just sitting on a log. We could call it the toad log. <laughs> Okay, jeez. Very soft so they don't interfere or that. Yeah, let's just do this. Okay. This thing is going to be so much fun to blow up. Okay, so Toad, Dolomedes. We've got the Horn Swoggle. Oh, I remember this. This is a weird looking thing. Uh, how many... S we actually have... Wow, I've just managed to make a whole bunch of things. Firstly, where am I? Why is the chair in here? Hold on. Temporarily just going to do this. Can this turn all the way around? Yes, it can. Right, I'm just going to change the camo on this. Hold on. Let's see. Camo Forest 5. Okay, that's acceptable. What color is this, though? Alright, I'm just going to switch it to number 2, because I like number 2 better. Yes, I am that kind of basic person. Actually, no, let's... When in doubt... 3? Yes! 1... 2... Yeah, sure. Why not? Let's stick this somewhere. The horn swoggle. Uh, hold on. Let's chuck this against an atlas, which is my benchmark, apparently. Why are these guns not firing? Oh, they're pure rail guns. That's why. Okay. Right, that makes sense. Alright, so what is a better name than Horn Swoggle? Camo is a bit small, that thing looks like a toad. Okay, let's shrink the camo just a little bit. Shrink it down like so. Oh, seven! That seven is the camo we want. Okay, then. Let's see here. This looks a little bright. Why is this this color? Is there lights on in here? Okay, let's go here. Save like so. Horn swoggle. What the hell is a horn swoggle? Maybe a horn swoggle. Okay. <laughs> a horn swoggle is a professional wrestler, actually. Swoggle. Nope. Oh, it's, um... Hmm, okay, no. Uh, we could do... What is the... Horn... A horn toad is actually a lizard. A desert lizard at that, so it's not that. Um, horn toad? Yeah, no. Bullfrog, maybe? I think, yeah, bullfrog. That, that This vibes like a bullfrog. I like it. Alright, let's do... Save that, and we're gonna save it as... The bullfrog. Hopefully we don't... Have something like that already, so... And this will be... what'll this be? I'm gonna put, chuck that as a regular um, tank. So... Bullfrog, there we go. Okay. Right, we're doing good. So the Bullfrog Dolomedes currently... Tinny AA. Oh wow, this thing is tiny. Do I feel like f making sure this thing can move? Oh dear. Okay, let's just chuck it against a duster and see what happens. 
Oh boy, this thing is struggling. Oh boy. Wow, the recoil is actually pushing it underwater. Okay. What the hell is happening? Okay, yeah, no, I like this. I like this. We might actually have to have an extra AA vehicle. So let's just go do that. And this is the what? And this is going to have to get renamed too. And we're just going to have to adjust some things. The thing I'm going to adjust immediately is this. So the thing can actually move. Wow, clearance is... Why is the clearance so low? This thing is pointing out of the vehicle. It should be at least 50%. Huh, okay, that's not good. Whoa, okay, is the pitch control wrong? I think the pitch control... Yeah, the pitch control is set up. Why does that have resting drive like that? Deacon's Christmas, okay. Turn off that, please. Hmm. Alright, that clearance does have 50% now. That is good. And I am going to just control this with differential thrust ion engines. Like so. There we go. Whee! It also seems to have trouble floating. What's the deal here? Looks weird without the duct, yeah. Tracks on it need to be fixed. Maybe deco one on. Yep. I will, yeah, let's deco. Firstly, let's do this. Alloy. And then, let's. Is this painted? No, it isn't. Hold on. It's not painted. Alright, so let's do... Oops. And up, down, positioning like so. Perfect! Excellent! Alright, so this thing has buoyancy issues. It also doesn't have roll control, which is not ideal. And lettuce, delicious lettuce. Oh boy. It uses transparent clips. Naughty, naughty. Oh well. Alright, so let's just go. Like so. Let's go like so. Rolling, rolling, rolling. Rollin', 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 rawhide. How to make this thing more floaty is the question. You know what it is. Hold on. I think... Yeah, these things are incredibly heavy, so... I think wide wheel drive is... Wide wheel drive, 1800. 900. Right, so we can almost halve the weight on this by... Uh, doing something like this. Actually, this thing is small enough that we could probably just do this. Uh, turning wheel, turning... Where's the bloody turning wheel? Okay. There we go. Or we could have big one. Right. 1800, 2500... Do you float better like this? You actually do! Look at that. Place with one meter wheels, yeah. Deco one on. Da, 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 da. Yeah, okay. It does need some wheel covers. Don't worry, we can add those on. 
Right, let's just wheel configure it. Why is the resting drive currently? Okay. You stop it. You stop that right now. Right, so we can make wheel covers really easily. We can just do something like this. And extra alloy means it will float better. Same as the rules. And let's just do wheel configuration. Show suspension with all wheels. Oh, no. Hold on. What the hell? Okay. Let's do that again. Let's do that again. Wheel configuration. Let's do that again. Right, that's not weird at all. <laughs> that's not weird at all. Okay. Plates or applique. Okay. Alright. Let's do. Let's try plates. Delicious plates. Yeah, that works. I never usually use plates like this, you know? Do 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 whoops whoops Okay let's do that let's do that Let's do that this thing will probably handle like a pig on land but it's okay I think we do need another wheel, though. We do need another wheel here. Like right here. There we go. Let's get rid of that. Let's get rid of that. And surely this won't be a problem. That looks weird. Move this engine two meters up and sideways into the hull. Okay, gotcha. All right, let's do wheel configuration. Suspension. Whoop. Uh, whoop. Well, we could just do that. Hold on. Yeah, let's do that. Ta-da! Oh, boy. I think on these wheels, though. Suspension. Whoops. Nope. 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 Didn't want that. There we go. There's your suspension. Oh. Oh, that's nice. Asshole. Okay. Uh, suspension offset one. Okay. Nope. What the? What the? What? Okay. There. What was it? Was it the Z? Yes, it was. Ta da! We have done it! Those wheels actually are attached now! Yay, why devs? Yay! Lack of symmetry is painful. Whee! Okay, good. Alright, now I'm going to... Why is this set to... Th that simply will not do? Excuse you. Excuse you. I don't think so. I like how I've gotten bogged down and like... I don't know. Take it as a sign that I care. Alright, let's do that. Range racket. What's the range on these shells, actually? 5,000 meters. Okay, so... <laughs> Why do- why are people so insistent on, like, doing this? Laser targeter? What? Oh, they probably tried with- f hold on a minute. Time fuse- nope. Fragment code 180. Come on, you- you gotta know how to do this. Time- AP timed frag is actually one of the better shells in the game, so... There is no excuse for not making a very good job of it. Also, I am going to 
stick jet engines on these because I want to. Okay, let's just do something like... We... I like to stick jet exhausts on things these days, so let's just go forward backward scanning 8. Scooch forward, no actually forward backward scanning 6. Scooch forward just a little bit. Okay, stop spinning. Please stop spinning. I need to see you. I need to see your beautiful body. Actually, yeah, let's make that eight. Good. I think it looks good. Da 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 da. And APS, barrel spacing, shrink that down like 0.8. And apply with mirror, copy. What? And also, let's have an elevation on this, shall we? Can you even move? Yes, you can. Right, let's chuck you against an atlas again. Or a duster, rather. Oh yeah, that's more like it. That's much more like it. Look at that. We are about to get annihilated by those missiles. No, we're not, actually. Sweet! Look at this little guy. <laughs> API and meh, yeah. I mean, yeah, the problem is... I do think APHE is better. API is just, you need a lot of, uh, of I in it, if you know what I mean. Alright, I'm going to do my trick again. So we're going to do this. Pulsing components, please don't blow me up. What the hell? What's taking all the power? Am I gonna have to fiddle with the engine a bit? I am gonna have to fiddle with the engine a bit. What? Yeah, no, th this thing. Absolutely. This is an injector engine for sure. Absolutely for sure. Why, why are there two generators in here? There doesn't need to be. <sighs> okay. Waterwise Berates is a series coming soon to a theater ne near you. Okay. I hate to do it to you, but. Now we're hardly using any power at all means uh, my trigger I really need to prefab this ACB since I do this so much okay uh, da, 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 da. propulsion set that to test nope too much 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 whoa okay you are not supposed to be underwater. Ah, this one has the opposite problem. It's too high. Thankfully, there's a trick for that. Just gonna go floaty, 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 floaty. Now it's pitching down too much. It is pitching down too much. Let's see here. If I set this to five, you're gonna behave yourself. You're gonna learn how to behave. Yes, you are. That'll do. And turn that off. There we go. We got our tiny A. What should this thing be named? Is the question. What is this thing's name? 
Yes, Incendiary Cram is a lot better than uh, Incendiary APS. Also, I've got to set this thing spinning. There we go. Wet mouse. Oh, what's a what is a yeah? No muzzle brake though. Yeah, nah, it doesn't need one. Oh wait, no, it does need one. Whoa, actually no, it has one. It already has a muzzle brake. Okay, uh, tadpole water flea. Oh no, that's really good. I like that. I like that a lot. Yes, water flea will do. Uh, save those that. Why did I do that? Water flea. Because it's annoying. This thing is going to annoy so many people. It's going to be so good. Alright. Uh, water flea. Where is the AAFV? Water flea. Right, and we've got one last thing, yellow anaconda, close support gun. Why is this- oh, hello! Yeah, this is a light- yeah, this is a, this is a thing. Yeah. Yep, yellow anaconda. Let's do that. I wouldn't classify it as hard, though, as the thing. So, yep. Green anaconda. Let's go. Where's the green anaconda? I know where that is. Green anaconda. Holy crap. Yeah, whoa. Much bigger. Oof. We could call this something different. We could, like. These things don't. Hold on. These things were made by just Walter Rorick and someone else. This thing needs to be renamed. What shall we name this thing? What's something with that yellow pattern? This thing's on it. Cayman? Water Cobra? Yeah, looks like a T-34. Yeah. I'm thinking Cayman, but water- yeah, Cobra doesn't fit this. It doesn't look like it. I'm thinking Cayman. Do we have a Cayman already? We do not, by the looks of it, so I'm just going to rename this thing the Cayman and I hope no one gets upset. Do not run me over. Right, so we're just going to rename this as the Cayman. Cayman, like so. Okay. Uh, da, da, da. Very much as open. I do. I want to see this thing fire. Hold on. Let's see here. So if I chuck you against an atlas, what happens? You miss horribly. Right. There is one little thing I need to do here. That is. Come on, fire again. You know you. What the. What is the reload time on this? You missed. Horribly. What is also... Why? Okay, 700 meters. That makes sense. Come on, fire again. Blow up an atlas. You know you want to. Yep. Uh, much like that. <laughs> And a lot of things are on fire, and that's very nice. We Right, enough of the silliness. Right, we have gone through our tanks folder, which is lovely. We've got a lovely variety of things here. So we've got light tanks, planes, AC-130 border-wise? What? That can't be named after me. Chinese IS-3, yeah. Green Anaconda isn't up to date. True! Uh, but it's functional. So let's see. AC-130 border-wise, this needs to be called something else. Oh, I remember this thing. I like this thing. Uh, what is this? This is... 
What fits in here? Aircraft. Yeah, this is effective. I'll, I'll classify this as a bomber. As a smart bomber. What is this? This is the... It can't be called the AC-130. What can we name this thing? It looks like... What does this look like? The radar is the sewers. Alright, yeah, what is it called? Not the newest version, yeah. BD-250... Hmm. AC-140. Uh, guys? Can't be Boeing, yeah. Flying fish. Uh, what is what is that? I'm thinking for some reason this thing makes me think of a bat, not the flying fish. It does not vibe like a flying fish. Flying fishes are little scary fish. So I'm gonna look at thing bat. Bat animal. Come on. Oh, bulldog- YES! Bulldog bat! You don't know what a bulldog bat looks like? It looks like this. Ta-da! Whoops! I have failed! Help! This guy. So this is a kind of fishing bat and just... The nose, like, yeah. Bulldog bat, here we go. Alright. So let's just make sure you're all like that. It's not the most formidable animal, a bulldog bat, but... But yeah, let's just hear why are we naming things after Earth animals. Alright, bulldog bat goes in the smart bomber category. Bulldog bat, there we go. Excellent. There's one thing. And we got the scout, the Seahawk. This little thruster craft thingy. That is a gunfighter. So. Or a jet fighter in general, really. Let's see here. So, Seahawk is a nice punny name. So, I like that. So, we're going to keep it just as it is. My caps lock is on. That's no good. Seahawk and the mosquito is a. This looks like. Are these torpedoes it's got here? Nope, it's a. It's another smart bomber by the looks of it. Yes, alright, cool. So the bulldog bat and the. What was it called this? The mosquito. Yep. Jolly good. Alright, so... We could have a few more attack helicopters and... Jet fighters and torpedo bombers uh, for Afitazwa at this point. Okay, jolly good. There's our aircraft. Alright, so planes, resource cargo craft. We've already covered that. Structures. Okay, this is where we need to hop over into the land designer. To see these... Do, 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 do. Seahawk is always cap. Have some. E I just reloaded the stream. Oh, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> yeah, it's a really ugly bat. Yeah, the bulldog bat. It's called that for a reason. All right, so we got the shredder cannon here. We've got the flak tower. I'm gonna round. I'm just gonna round the edges on this. There we go, that makes me feel better. Actually, no, it doesn't yet. Hold on. There we go. What the hell just happened? Interesting, this thing was isometrical. Okay, let's say that. Flak tower, there we go. 
Power plant. Neat. And we got... Oh! Right, that is actually a structure. Jolly good. An entire Henian refinery. A little friend here. Okay, yeah, we've got good structures here. It's that truck but normal. Yeah, Total ship is on the front page. Yep, I've seen it. <laughs> yeah, it's... I wasn't expecting that, to be perfectly honest with you. I think it's just because a whole bunch of people went and looked at it after the video went up. Even if they didn't, like, subscribe to it or anything. Alright, so... Right, so... Our flak tower is the AA emplacement. Flak tower... And then we've got a shredder cannon, which is our APS emplacement. Let's go to adjust my spreadsheet. We have no cram emplacement, and that's okay. Uh, house. We have a nuclear power plant, which is just going to be... We've got two big houses right now. All right. So, refinery, power plant, hold on, we got a house. The Toad RBE could be a house. Toad RBE. And we've got... Office. Hold on, hold on, uh, hold on, hold on. I have no idea what... What is tire? What does tire here mean? Let's do that. Oh, it's a part of meta. I'm just gonna call it refinery. So we got refinery. Hold on, no, we got. And like, I don't know. Friggin' nuclear power plant right here. There we go. That was easy. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Alright, cool. So, yeah, that's it. Unnamed craft. Got, like, stuff in here that I am working on. Okay, so that basically does it for the stream. We did it. We've sorted them out. So I'm gonna, like, pack all these up nice and neat and tidy and make him available to Henry uh, whenever Henry uh, can stick him in. So that'll be fine. That's a whole faction. Yeah, pretty much. There's still some gaps. So let me share the spreadsheet here. So once again, I'm going to share this in chat. So there's some people looking at it right now. Ep epic. All right, so... What, 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 what? Guess what? 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 Don't keep me in suspense. Spread sheet. I'm streaming today. Yay! Alright, so... We can raid you, actually. So, 3D Wrecker, if you start your stream... Um, if you start your stream now... Uh, I can send you off. Uh, send people off to raid. Guess what? Chicken bar. Alright, so let's just share this um, on screen right now. So... Just so people are aware, we've got some holes. Uh, we've got some holes in the spreadsheet, so we have room for like four more regular tanks, heavy tanks for full lot bond. We have four more hover tanks, lots more hover tanks actually. Um, tank hunters, uh, AT hovercraft, AA hovercraft. Bearing in mind, there's no rush on this, uh, so take your time, make it good, make it pretty, because Henry's got enough work already. Um, Cargo plane, torpedo bombers we need, attack helicopters, we need fortresses as well. Uh, we really don't have any fortresses, we don't have an HQ for them either. And we need a cram emplacement and a laser emplacement. So there's like, you know, if you want to build and contribute here, there's still stuff we can do. Which is very, very handy. Okay, cool. That'll do for the stream. I think we did really well, so I'm going to... Go annoy Henry with all these uh, blueprints, and then I guess I'll see you next time. I want to I want to see Kermit again. Kermit makes me happy. <laughs> Kermit.
Kermit makes me so damn happy. Let's let's put Kermit next to the water flea because that's fun. Oh dear, no, Kermit! Look how they massacred my boy. Wee! Then you just do that, and Kermit is Kermit's not okay. What are you doing, dude? Kermit. Kermit, you are embarrassing yourself. Ah! No! Kermit, stop! Please stop, Kermit. And let's have Kermit next to the water flea. Damn, Kermit is tiny. This is Russian tank design right here. It's just like... Gosh dang. Okay, you... Let's have you over here for thumbnail purposes. Whoa! Okay, yeah, I need to adjust that, clearly. Hold on. Whee! Oh no! <laughs> okay, um. Whee! Okay. Nope, nope, nope. Kermit, don't move. Kermit, don't move. Kermit, don't move. Kermit, no move. I am just going to quickly here just stick this down. Now try and pitch up. Uh, hello? Okay, right, so water flea, you need to use pitch control. Hell yeah, there we go. She drives like nuts, but she drives okay. Whee! Maybe a little bit of lead. Just a smidge. I'm getting distracted, but, uh,. I can't use that. Hold on. Let's do this instead. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna make this a jet. There we go. Whee! Okay, stop, 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 stop. Do not run over Kermit. I swear to G. I swear to G. But yeah, we got a faction. Oh, look at that stop. It looks beautiful. Okay, uh, yeah, we should do that. Yeah, the floor is lava. <laughs> Crying himself to sleep. Thank you, 3D Wrecker. Okay, so 3D Wrecker, where are you? I'm gonna go... Let's go raid 3D Wrecker, so... Right, that'll do for the stream. So, end of stream stuff. Like and subscribe and follow on Twitch and on YouTube. Screenshot. And, um... Yay, screenshot. And also, uh, custom campaign Discord, I should link to that. Uh, like so. Did I, am I following 3D Wrecker is the question. Um, how the hell, okay. Right. I don't know, uh, right, okay, too hard. Um, where, where am I? How do I find 3D Wrecker? I'm, I don't know. Like raid, I can't pronounce it. Okay, it's all good. <laughs> okay, have a good time, everyone. Farewell, bye, buy my book. It's called it's called Two of Rogues. It's really good. All right, I'm leaving. I've completely lost the plot. Bye.